Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry here. I just want to give you guys my thoughts quickly on the Here's the Storm balance update that came out December 20th, which is today. And I'm just going to do that really quickly. There aren't too many changes. So the first change was to Haunted Mines, and the Grave Golem now it does 140 damage from 110, and the Stomp does 150 from 60. Now it doesn't say that this is base damage, but I'm assuming this is base damage and it scales into the game. So these are pretty sizable increases. The problem on Haunted Mines before this was that the Grave Golem basically tickled and did nothing. So it had a ton of health, but it just didn't really do any damage. So you could leave it or just ignore the skulls and then just burn the Grave Golem down and instead go for the mercenary camps um, above the mines. So I haven't played mines too much, but that was definitely an issue in the past. I don't know if this will resolve everything. I'm sure Blizzard will do more changes in the future, but this is definitely helpful in the future. Uh, or for changes. So the Grave Golem stomp damage increase is really important because the you know the the green stun that it would do basically did zero damage before. Like you could get stunned by it, it wouldn't even clear a minion wave. So this is a this is a really important change. So we got some changes to Ragnaros and they're basically straight nerfs. Uh, so all of these changes, all of the damage changes here, uh, 222 to 211, 75, 72 and all of these changes here, these are all like 4-5% to nerfs. So it's pretty much basically 5% nerf to damage across the board for those abilities. And that's nothing. So not important at all. These are, Molten Core already does so much damage, a 5% isn't really going to change anything. The important changes you want to look for here um, is this cooldown increase from 100 to 120, and the Lava Wave changes. Uh, so these are the important changes. This is a weird change here as well, 50 to 75. I don't actually know why. Uh, I personally never took that, so that's kind of a weird change to me. I didn't think there was anything that would need to be changed for that. Uh, so increasing the cooldown from 100 to 120, it's good. I mean, Molten Core felt like it was up so much. It was always up for every objective. I still think it's going to be up for every objective, but now you have to be a little bit more patient with it. Uh, it also makes the level 20 upgrade heroic difficulty, which reduced the cooldown by 50 seconds, so there's a 50% decrease. Now it, it reduces the cooldown from... Uh, 120 to 70, and that's not no longer a 50% decrease. So that's a little bit of, of a nerf to uh, that upgrade as well. Uh, but overall, I think these changes are good. Um, I actually like really like these changes because it means that I can pick him in Hero League now because he's permanently banned uh, as of right now. The biggest change to Hero League is uh, the cooldown increase on Lava Wave 100 to 120, which is good. And more significantly, or even like the, both of these combined, means that. Uh, the cooldown or the damage is significantly reduced as well. So you have basically the issue with Rag was he'd molten core and then lava wave, and you'd never be able to push any objectives. So both of these changes combined are more impactful than just if one of these changes was made alone. Um, so they're kind of they exponentially scale in terms of nerf, which is good. Um, I actually took lava wave every game, but I hated doing it every time. And now I can take Sulfur Smash, which is the heroic that I really wanted to take. So now I don't feel obligated to take this because. Uh, I got nerfed pretty damn hard. Uh, the damage reduction here is significant. So it's still going to one-hit minion waves, uh, but it's not going to do as, quite as much damage to heroes. Um, and the cooldown is a bit longer if you're just trying to split push with it. I'm sure there will be more changes in the future. So like I said, these these damage changes are insignificant. The only thing is the lava wave and the cooldown. Uh, tool. so there's a... I, I don't know if you call it a bug, but uh, Wormhole at level 7, um, when you used it, Prior to to what it used to be was that when you when you'd wormhole there'd be a short in, internal cooldown where you wouldn't be able to reactivate it and this was just so uh, you wouldn't accidentally wormhole back. So after the most recent patch, not including this one, um, I was I play Zerto a lot and I wormhole and I would just blink in to to get some damage with wormhole at, or I, I try to blink out and it instantly wormhole me back. That's because I was hitting the button too quick because I'm so used to having this internal cooldown. And I'm really, really glad they fixed it because it made playing Zeratul Wormhole. Um, basically, I would just go Secret in the Dark because I didn't want to deal with Wormhole, uh, this Wormhole bug. So I'm glad they fixed this. I'm glad they're aware of it. Artanis got a bit of a buff. Shield increased value from 360 to 375. This is like 4... What is that? 4.1, 4.2% increase? Wow, very impactful. Not really. This does... You'll, pretty much not notice this change at all. Uh, I'm glad that they know that he's weak, but I, I don't know. That's a very, very tiny change. Uh, Diablo got a bunch of nerfs as well. 
Uh, I think he got nerfed harder than Rag. Eh, no, no. Rag got nerfed harder for sure because of Lava Wave. Um, but these are pretty significant changes as well. Uh, this is a base uh, max health nerf. Uh, it's like 100 health down, maybe 3 plus percent or something of his max health. Um, that's noticeable. That's Remember, this scales with the game. So um, this isn't just like he loses 100 health overall. It's 100 health and it scales by 4% per level. Um, Base health, base health regen reduced as well. That's not really anything. Who really cares about base health regen? I don't actually know why they make these changes because it's going to change your late game health regen by like maybe one or something. I don't know. It's not. I don't really care about that. Um, the bulwark change here. It used to be uh, now it only increases it from two seconds. So instead of going from a total of five seconds, it's now four seconds. Um, this is nice to bring it a little bit more in line. This isn't really too impactful. You're still going to get this at level 1. Uh, ability damage reduction, this is pretty pretty big. So the change got, instead of having basically 35% perma spell shield, now you have 25% perma spell shield. And this, on top of the bulwark change, on top of the health change, um, is a, a pretty good nerf overall. He's still, I think, the best tank in the game, and I still think he's first pick worthy and bannable. I, I don't think the priority of Ragnaros or Diablo really changes at all, um, but they are nerfs nonetheless. The Hellgate got nerfed as well. So this is basically Bolt, but it also stunned. So that was ridiculous for having the same cooldown as Bolt. So I can understand that nerf. And finally, we have uh, Dahaka, where his movement speed, level 1, uh, quest instead of getting a max of 10% movement speed, you get 15% movement speed. And yeah, the the quest this enhanced agility talent was just absolute trash um, as of right now. I and if with this patch, I still don't think it's ever going to be picked. I think that you still go the wave clear at level one. And then we have some bug fixes. Nothing here that's too important. Okay, guys, that's it for the changes. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.